Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Judy Mate, Life Master Consultant, with the power of the question. Now, <clears throat> yesterday we started this journey from Monday to Good Friday and what this is called traditionally as Holy Week. And we just <laughs> we were talking about this training of your mind. Training of your mind. You can go back to yesterday. And we are on days 36 of 40 in this journey <clears throat> towards Easter. And it was a commitment back 36 days ago that I made to do a Facebook Live every day along this journey, this inward journey, traditionally called Lent, into new sights, new feelings, new awarenesses. So we're on day 36 and the power of the question. So, <clears throat> and it all goes with this whole training of our mind. How are you training your mind? So yesterday we were talking about, um, I'll go like this, yeah, making an empowered decision. Because without a decision, everything will be going the same old, same old, year after year. So we have this vision, this dream of what we would love, you know, one year from now, three years from now, that beautiful life for our health, our relationships. And we, you really, really, the powerful thing is the first thing in training your mind is the power of deciding, deciding and it shall happen. Now, today we're talking about day two on this Tuesday of Holy Week. And it's the power of the question, questioning. So here's here's a, a thought for you. How many of you get caught up in a question when you are in circumstance of why me? Why me? You know, ah, oh, why me? That's a good question. Well, it's a question, let's just say that. And it's a question of that to me in my mind it's like a victim mode why me why is this happening to me and when you ask that question you'll get more why me believe me now a more empowering question starts with what I mean my notes out here like what is mine to do today and it's been said that the quality of your life depends on the is determined by the quality of questions that you ask. Isn't that interesting? The quality of my life depends upon the quality of questions I ask. A question I asked this morning is, where can I take the Facebook Live peeps where I haven't been for a while, where it's a park, and, and talk about the power of questions? So it was a where question. So I'm up here at the Leander uh, train and bus station. I used to be here every single morning dropping my son off to go to work and I haven't been here in a long time. So my little car brought me up here. This is in Leander. So let's go back to this, the power of the question. It's been said that the quality of your life is determined by the quality of questions you ask. And so, on this Tuesday of Holy Week, we want to learn to ask questions that reflect the highest possibility of our lives. Now, just like using that Google search on your computer, the universe will respond to provide an answer to whatever question that you ask. Isn't that interesting? So, for example, now you can always ask yourself, how am I going to ever going to pay my bills this month? Or you could ask, how can I bring in more money this month than I ever have? Now, each one of those questions will provide a different answer. Which one is a higher quality question? Let me ask you that again. How can I ever pay all the bills my month, this month? And well, I think we've all been there. <laughs> or you can ask, how can I bring in more money this month than I ever have in my life? Now there's answers to both of those questions. Now which one of those questions will get you more in the direction of your vision? Now, hi guys, you're all in here. Hi Jackie. 
We all know that there's not, there's not a question you can ask for which there's not an answer. Listen to that one. We all know that there is not a question you can ask for which there's not an answer. So every question has an answer. So when you understand that, it keeps you out of that anxiety, worry, and fear. Oh, let's take a deep breath in. Boy, wouldn't that be great for one day to keep out of anxiety, worry, and fear. So another question I learned to ask is, what if? And it was a game I started to play, what if? What if up? Now, I used to play the game as, oh my God, what if this happens? You know, what if? This is a terminal illness. What if? I, well, you know, what if my kid fell off a bike a day? Oh my gosh, what if? And it kept me in this constrictive mode, not moving forward in this fear, doubt, and worry. And I put out that energy. And I must say, I put out that energy around my kids, my family, my school, the what if. Then someone uh, came along and taught me about what if up. This is a game I wanted to tell you about. What if up. So, let's take a circumstance or condition, or just today, today, that you'll be going forward into, okay? So let's play what if up. So what if up? What if this was the best day of your life? What if today was a game changer for you? What if you saw something you never ever saw before? What if, what if, and the answer to your prayers happened today and you were fully awake? What if you get to say, let's, let's try this again. Think of a something that's about, that you're about to do today. Maybe you're going for a job interview. Maybe you're going out for a walk. Maybe you're seeing something and you have a little bit of wiggle in there of anxiety, okay? Maybe it's a job interview. Maybe you're going in and you're going to your mailbox and you're like thinking, uh-oh, there's gonna be some bad mail in there or your inbox, okay? Let's take a deep breath. Ask an empowered question, what if, what if I trained my thinking to know that every single bit of news today was for the unfoldment of my, of me. What if up? Okay, little what if up game today. So, <laughs> we also, uh, learning to formulate this powerful question, and it's the second discipline of the mind that'll help you accelerate toward your dream. Okay, so there we go. So this whole three days, of this week is about training your mind. Yesterday, we talked about the power of deciding, decision. Today, we talked about the power of the question, the power of the question. Uh, one of the thing is, what is mine to do today? What if this was the best day of my life? What would that look like, be like? What would I be doing today if I knew that this was the day that was the game changer for the next phase. What would I be feeling, doing, seeing, acting, high-fiving today? Sam, okay. This is one of the many bridges. I love the fact that there's so many bridges in all these parks here. And what if we went from this side of the bridge to this side of the bridge asking an empowering question. Okay, comment, you know, like, like, love, love, share, share, if there's anyone that really needs the question. So here we go. I'm going to ask myself in a, this moment of silence and let you listen to all the birds out here. What is mine to do today to walk from this side of my awareness to that side. What is mine to do today?
So let's get centered, take a deep breath in, out. Knowing that it's not just the power of the question, it's how willing are you to listen to the answers? How willing are you to listen to the empowered questions answered? And you'll know they're the right answers by the spark of aliveness that the answer has in you. So, what is mine to do today? So this is Judy Matejcik, Tuesday of Holy Holy Week. Make this a Holy Holy Week on our path towards Easter, day 36 out of 40. Dream big, dream bold, accomplish brilliantly. Make this a great day for you and all those around you. Peace out.